do what you want, cause a pirate is free. You are a pirate. You're our favorite indeed. Being a pirate is our right to be. Do what you want, cause a pirate is free. You are a pirate. You are a pirate. Captain Corey and crewmate Pixie here for another unboxing video of all the amazing gifts that you have been sending to Corey. Now some of them are from a while ago while Corey was poorly and he never managed to open it unfortunately. Some of the things are still here from a while ago. Some things are brand new and they've only just come in but they're all mixed up. So I've decided um, to try and unbox things for you guys because I know Corey would not want me to be sat here with all these amazing presents. He would be sat there going, Mum, open them, open them. So I'm here to hopefully say thank you to you guys. Uh, this is what um, you've bought. You know, everything is massively appreciated. I'm going to put Corey there so he is going to observe from a little bit of an angle. We have Captain, Corey, Captain Corey's hat, as always and his crack in the box sign as well. So start off the video as we always do. Thank you to every single person who has sent messages of support, letters, gifts, um, notes across all the platforms, which I'm not gonna mention because there's so many of them, um, supported us on TikTok and everything else. Thank you to everybody for still sticking by crack in the box and my own channel as well. We really, really, really do appreciate it. We're gonna keep crack in the box going. We are gonna take you on pirate adventures Days out, theme parks, Halloween, Christmas, all the kind of things that Koi would absolutely love. I'm going to try and keep it as positive as we can, but I am Captain Koi's mum, and so I might cry sometimes because obviously I miss him a lot, and I'm sure you guys too do as well. So I will try and do my best with these presents. I will try not to cry, but it's okay to cry. It's okay if you cry. It's okay if I cry. We can all cry together. It's okay. Although he would be saying balls to the lot of you and wipe those tears away and cheer up you miserable buggers. That's what he would be saying. So I have got down here some gifts from Corey. I'm going to try and keep these videos quite short. But some of them I've opened, like the big boxes and the smaller ones like the packets, I haven't. I have no idea what is in these. No idea. I don't even know when they arrived. We kind of have things coming in. And because I've not been in a very good place mentally, I've been kind of putting them into the YouTube studios and I've just gone on and got loads of them today. And like I said, they're all mixed up from all different timelines. So hopefully you'll see something that you've sent. And it's uh, quite exciting actually for me. It is a little bit emotional. It's very emotional because Corey's not here to see. But I'm hopefully he's floating around here somewhere being a pirate ghost going, that is amazing. That is amazing. So thank you so much. Right, this one. First one is Amazon. Uh, it is to the delivery office, so this is potentially a PO box. Ooh. I'm gonna look at see if we've got any notes. What is that? Oh my gosh. Oh gosh, this is something that I know Corey had on his wish list. And it means it's coming down to me and I'm gonna have to do it. I might do it with Spanky because um, he hates things like this. So there's no notes to say who it's from. So this is a mystery one. But straight away, <laughs> this is something that Corey would love. Sour pickles. Do you know what he used to call these? Well, so, so we don't really call them pickles over in the UK. Well, no, they are called pickles, but we call them gherkins, really. Um, he used to say they look like ogre's willies. Honestly, he did. So, yeah, that is a pickled ogre's willy. So, <laughs> there you go. And we've got two of them, which means I have to pull somebody in to try them with me. And it's most likely going to be Spanky because he doesn't really do sour. Like he literally hates it. And I think he would be so funny. Corey would be like, yeah, I can do this. But um, Spanky, not so much so. So I think I'm going to get him in on this one. So they are going to be really cool. That's for a future video. So keep your eyes out on a taste test video for sour stuff. I, I don't mind it. Um, but uh, yeah, Spanky, I think will be like, Bleh! That would be quite funny. This, I don't know what this is, so I'm going to have to open this one. It's got some uh, protective film on it, and it sounds as though it needs assembling. Oh, it sounds like it's metal, so I don't know what this is. I don't know if it's something Corey asked for. If it's, oh, this looks like a wind chime. Oh, it is a wind chime. So I will say now. Um, over the past few months, or the past few weeks really, because it's been almost two months um, since Corey passed away, um, I've had a lot of messages from people saying, I've sent you this, I've sent you this, I've sent you this. 
I honestly don't remember who said that and who said what. So please don't feel offended if you've messaged me to say, can you please look out for this and thank me on camera or anything like that because I'm not going to remember who you are. Um, this is a gorgeous wind chime. Oh, sorry, it's in bed, so I've got to be really careful because it's nearly it's 20 past 11 at night, so I'm not going to let it dangle. But wind chimes are something that I've definitely put on the wish list for Corey's Memorial Garden, which we're actually doing in our garden and also things for his resting place. So we've kept the PO box open. We've kept the Amazon wish list open as well. So if anybody would like to send anything for Corey, um, it'll go to his resting place or his garden. I think this is one of the things for his garden. It, I, I wish I could let it dangle, but it's gonna wake Ostara up. Thank you so much to whoever sent the sour pickles and the wind chime. This is absolutely amazing. Massively appreciated. It's so pretty. I am so sorry if you have messaged me saying who you are. Please know. I'm sending you massive amounts of love and I love stuff like this. Thank you. Okay, now I've got one here and it's it's fragile. And this is gone. This is a P.O. box one. So literally, again, could be anything. I have pre-opened this, but I've not looked what it is. So I'm going to be very careful as I open it. Oh, it looks like bottles. Like glass bottles. I'm going to be very careful with this because it says fragile. So... I can see there's a note with it, which is a really good thing. Oh, hang on, there's a Kraken bottle there. Looks like it's got wax on it. Right, I'm be very careful to know this is glass now. Right. Okay. So, oh, wow. Okay. This is a, I can't see any notes at the moment apart from this one here. There's a little yellow note with this one, and there's a couple of little teeny tiny black candles that you can see there, look. Okay, this one says, if I can open it up, because it's on a post-it, though, that's sticky. So let's see if we can just open it up. Okay, this says, the candles I use are called magic spell candles. Black and are readily available on, e uh, on eBay. Looks like, Alla? A-L-A? Maybe Alan? I can't quite read your name on there. But thank you so much. So we have some little candles. There's two of these little candles there which are amazing. So magic things are great because I'm pagan, I do have an altar. I'm not a devil worshipper or anything like that before you start wondering or anything like that. It's all about nature and respect for nature. Oh, we have a little, a little, oh, look, a little cracking, a little cracking box, a little cracking, cracking, I can't speak today, a little cracking bottle. And I wonder if that would fit in there. I think it, it it's a little bit wide at the moment, but we might be able to find a candle to fit in there. That's really cute. Obviously, Kraken is fantastic. The little rum bottles, that is really sweet. Thank you. That will go in Corey's bedroom, definitely. Anything which is to do with Krakens goes in Corey's bedroom. Oh, we have... Oh, wow, they have got them in. There we go. There's one with one of the candles in. That is fantastic. So these can go in the studio, actually. I think actually if they go on Corey's bedroom window, they might actually melt in the sun because it's been very hot recently. What have we got there? We've got, oh, we've got another little little candle. This little candle probably goes in, uh, in this bottle here. I think it might have fallen out. There we go. That is so cool. I really like that. That is absolutely awesome. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. And obviously, I'm so sorry that I didn't read your name properly and I don't actually know who you are. So please, please feel free to comment down below and say who you are if you've just seen me open that because I'm really, really bad with handwriting, but they are so cool. So I have two of those. So they are going to go on Captain Corey's desk in his YouTube studio. I won't like them because obviously I don't, I, I like, I don't like burning candles, as stupid as that sounds. I like to keep them preserved, but that looks so cool. Thank you so much. Oh, amazing. Okay, got another box down here, which is to the Royal Mail delivery office. So again, could be Amazon wish list things. It could be PO box. It's, mind you, a PO box, it would say PO box, wouldn't it? So, ignore me, I talk rubbish most of the time anyway. I see something orange. Ooh, we've got here. Okay. So we've got some paper. That is very floro. Is that a safety vest? Has Corey put a safety vest on his, on his, is a wish list by any chance? Has he put, <gasps> it's a windsock. It is a windsock. 
<laughs> that kind of frightens me a little bit because I'm a little bit scared of anything which is inflatable or anything which fills with window flaps about a bit. This is definitely something Corey would love though because he loved to watch the weather. He had this thing about watching things about tornadoes and tsunamis and things. Not that we, we think light of it at all, we don't. He was fascinated by storms. Unless he was in one and then he'd be terrified. But used to love watching the wind. Loved it. So this is something that will go up in our garden. And so we can see which way the wind's coming from. And we get some pretty strong winds in our garden as well. Particularly when Spanky and I fart in. Pretty strong wind then. That is cool. That is really cool. I love the fact it's so big. Oh my God. Thank you so much. That's cool. And obviously... We have uh, autumn coming up, so the breezy weather's coming in, so that's not cool. And we have here, I don't know what this, oh, is it? oh it's a box with things in. Oh my gosh, it's a taste test box. Corey absolutely loves doing taste test boxes. He loves it. We, you probably would have seen it by now. We did a Japanese taste testing box. And um, we've done a couple, actually, a couple of videos of them. He absolutely loved trying foods from around the world, different snacks and things. And it was one of the things that he said he loved to do the most. But unfortunately, he was a little bit too poorly to carry doing carry on doing that. So we will do it for him on this channel. Um, whether I get his sisters in, some of Corey's friends in, or Spanky, I mean, whatever. We will get somebody to do these taste test videos and give you an honest review on what it was like. Probably, if it's got peanuts in it, I can't have it. But, oh my gosh, this looks oh, cool. I don't even know where they're from, actually. But how cool does that look? So it's just international yummies. <gasps> wow. Look at that. He would absolutely love it. For a Straight away got some pizza bites, little hamburgers, some dankek pot. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. So, so cool. This little information leaf will tell you everything. We will read this out as we taste test it on, one of, on like a future video. I'll let you know what everything is, where to get it from. But, again, we don't know who sent it, so whoever sent the windsock and the taste testing box, thank you so very much. Please look out for this on an upcoming video, because we will show you. I'm looking forward to this, actually. And I know Corey will be sat there going, yeah, this is amazing, because it's one of his favourite things to do. So thank you so, so much. That's incredible. Oh, my gosh. Oh, we've got down here. We have another one. This is to our home address. So... Being very loud or sorry, I was in bed. I have oh we've got notes yes we've got notes I like it when we get notes because again I always save every single one of these because it's nice to keep and remember so this is a gift from Jody sending hugest of hugs to you all oh Jody thank you so much got a nice little box here I don't know what it is I really, really hope that Corey can see me opening these. I hope that wherever he is, he is looking down on me or sat beside me going, what is it? What is it, Mum? Because opening gifts without him seems so strange. So, so strange. And there we go, look. So you can look the same time as I do. Oh, oh it's a squiggle. That is, oh my gosh, that is so nice. I think this is going to be for Corey's Memorial Garden. So there we go. It's, that, there you go. Does that say Toscano? And this is a really gorgeous little resin squirrel eating, eating nuts. Not balls, nuts. That is so gorgeous. So Corey absolutely loves nature. If you've been watching his videos, you will know he loves squirrels. We call them squiggles. Um, we have a lot of squiggles and he, um, I actually have, someone bought Corey a squiggle feeder and I've been out and bought lots of monkey nuts which I know that they like to eat and um, we've assembled it all to take to Captain Corey's resting place which is literally the back of our house. He is so close to home, it's lovely. And I've actually bought a pyrography pen which is a wood burning tool and I've written on it Captain Corey's nuts because I know that he would laugh so hard at that. And we're going to fill it full of nuts for the squirrels and we're going to put it on a big plate and push it into the ground so they can't steal it. And that is going to be for the squiggles. So yeah, but this is going to go in our garden at home because we are making a memorial garden for Corey. So things like this are perfect and beautiful and incredible. And this is cool. Thank you so, so much, honestly. Thank you. This is amazing. And he's so cute. 
Thank you. Got it, big box down here. Oh, really big box. I'm trying to hide the address because the address is on all of them. Oh, let's just pop this down a second because it looks as though we've got a note on this one. So obviously my job was always to read out the notes. So I get to unbox it and read the notes now. So it might take me a bit longer to get through the videos. This is a gift from Leslie Foster. Thank you so much, Leslie. To light the way for further adventures for Corey and the whole family. Oh, I don't know what this one is. That sounds very like ominous and what it could be in a good way. Two seconds. I'm just... Oh, it's in a gift bag. That's cool. So let me see. It's quite heavy. Here we go. Oh, this box is huge. I'm just move this box. I'm putting all the boxes over here. Oh, I'm going to end up chucking, breaking something. I know I am. Right. Big gift bag. We save all the big gift bags. And as always, green is for Slytherin, which is, if you watch our videos, every time I said that, Corey be like, Slytherin. Because I love Harry Potter. Love green. Love Slytherin. And this is the same, yeah, same thing from Leslie Foster to light the way. Again, we'll save this. That will go in Captain Corey's chest in his bedroom, his big pirate chest. And I'm going to put this on the floor because it's so big. That's what she said. All right. Can I get it out? Oh my God. That's what she said again. Oh my gosh, this is so heavy. What is this? A solar light. Oh... Solar lights are what we use for Corey's, Corey's forever garden, which is where he is, because um, you know where he, where he, where he's laid to rest, um, and also for his garden here as well, which we are in the process of doing at the moment. But I don't know what what solar light this is, so find out together. Oh, it looks like it's two. It looks like it's double there. Look. I'm going to turn this upside down on my knee and hopefully it will slide out very carefully. I don't want them to drop. Oh my gosh. You know, we don't want to do anything. That's going to break. There we go. So, put that on there. There we go. Oh, they're beautiful. Oh, they are so beautiful. They're like ship lanterns. They are so nice and they have like uh, faux candles inside them. Oh my gosh. I'll get some batteries because obviously I've got to put batteries in it. And what? Oh my gosh. It all looks like it's all waterproof and everything. So they are like outdoor lanterns. Which is, oh, they're solar as well. Yeah, of course they are. They said solar on the top. So there we go. They've got the solar panels on the top. And there's two of these. There's a pack of two. See the other one in there. And they look like ship's lanterns. They are gorgeous. So what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to take one of them to Corey's resting place, which is, like I said, it's just behind our, our house here in the cemetery behind our house. And I'm going to keep one of them for the garden here. So I, so we've always got duplicates. We like to do that. If I go to the garden centre and I buy something really pretty, I'll buy two of them. One for Corey and one for, for Corey's garden here because it's nice when the days when I can't go to the cemetery because I, I'm, I've got housework or I've got meetings or whatever, or the weather's really bad. Um, it just means I can see a little bit of Corey here as well. They it, they are gorgeous. I mean, they're, they're really heavy as well, so they're not going to blow over. Corey has really thick five-point anchored shepherd's hooks, which are big, thick metal hooks that go into the ground where he is. And so we can put reeds on there. We can hang things like, like this up and they're completely safe. So this is what is going to go. And this would be great for Christmas as well. That would be beautiful. Flick away at Christmas. So thank you so much. Things like solar lights, wind chimes, little animals. Oh my gosh, like they, they are so beautiful and they are so appreciated. Because we just cycle things across. We have got a big box here. And what we do is, it's coming up to autumn now. So obviously the stormy weather will start coming in soon. So we'll take down all of the things which are lightweight. Put them all in a box here. And then put out heavy duty things for winter. We'll do the same thing at home and then we'll just keep on putting things out all throughout the year. So he's always got new things with him. So this is beautiful. Thank you so much. I love it. Thank you. And he will love it as well. Thank you so much. Okay, got a few more down here for you. Right. See what we've got. So I've actually pre-opened a couple of these already. This is a big one. I'm going to open this off camera. It's... Oh. 
there is actually a letter that comes with this one so this one says hello pixie me and carol have made you a memory box filled with love the little wooden set is a wee bench that you can build as you build all the time with Corey. The candle set, I didn't want to pick a photo. I don't think that's for me to, to do. You might want to pick your own. The Corey Snuggly, we thought little Ostara would love to cuddle it. We also got you a Pandora pirate charm for you to collect. Wow. I do not know if you have a bracelet. I do. I do have a Pandora bracelet and I do. I haven't bought myself a charm for a long, long time. Um, please let me know if, if and please let me know. We would love to get you one if if you're into that. I love Pandora. I do have a Pandora bracelet. The ring light's gone really dark. Um, I bought a Pandora bracelet on Corey's first heart transplant. Now, as you can see, I don't really wear jewelry. I wear my wedding ring. I wear this beautiful little um, protective stone that was gifted from a friend. But I do, on special occasions, wear my Pandora bracelet and it is full of hearts and wings and things that are sentimental. So thank you so much. I haven't opened that yet. I haven't opened that charm, so thank you. Um, you are all loved and thought of. Here if you ever need me anytime. Your friends, Vicky and Carol. Sorry, I thought I'd get everything in one box, so I've sent two separate boxes. Hugs and love, Vicky. I haven't actually opened the other one, Vicky, so this is the first one I've opened. And this is a Snugsy. I can see what it is. Um, and this is a picture of Corey. So there we go. Have a picture of my little boy. Um, and that is for Ostara. And it just says, I love you. Obviously, there we go. Corey's little smiley face. Bless him. Thank you so much. That's a really, really thoughtful gift to give. Thank you so much. You can have cuddles from her brother, and that really does mean a lot. And thank you. And you know, when I get to the other, the other little little gift, I will obviously it'll be on camera, so that'll probably be in another video now. But thank you so much for thinking of us all and for doing such thoughtful gifts. That really does mean a lot. Thank you. Oh, my little Corey. Oh. Try not to cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. Put that one there. I'm just going to pause the video while I quickly um, do the tape and uh, maybe have a little cry. Okay, so I've got another box here. It's quite a big one. It's come to our home address. So we think it's from the Amazon wish list. Although I can never be sure. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. I seriously know. Oh, my God. I can see from here. Ostara is going to go mad. Now, it's her first day at school tomorrow. And she is going to be so excited when she comes home from school. She has one of these. Oh, my gosh. So, oh, for Christmas last year, um, we bought, um, well, we bought, we were gifted some money. And with it, we bought Ostara a Gabby's Dolls House. And some of the rooms she didn't have. She did not have at all. They can, uh, some of the rooms were only actually available in America, so we wonder if these have come from somewhere in America. I can't see. Oh, no, is there a note there? Oh, there's one. There's a note saying what it is. Is there a note it's from? Oh, yes, yes, we have notes. We have notes. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Okay, this is a name I don't recognise. A gift from Carrie Ann Ganley, uh, New Jersey, USA. Ostara, this is a high priority gift on your brother's wish list. Your happiness, making him happy, shows how much he will always love you. Sending you hugs from Carrie Ann Ganley. Oh my gosh, Carrie Ann, thank you so much. Like, Corey will always love Ostara. He will always be her big brother. She will always miss him forever. Um, I ordered these items on Friday night and the bank deactivated my card, probably because I don't normally purchase on Amazon UK. I have a strong feeling that this is something you'd really like. From Carrie Ann Ganley. And then another one says, it's not on Corey's wish list, but this cooling blanket is wonderful. It will help keep you cool when you feel too hot at night, whether you're wrapped up or need more weight than a sheet. From Carrie Ann. Oh my gosh. Carrie Ann, thank you so much. Wow. And there's a big, big box of goodies here that I'm about to show you now. Wow. Thank you. Okay, so firstly, these will absolutely make Ostara so happy. Gabby's Doll's House. Like I said, she has a doll's house. It's literally down there. She, she, um, Nana from America bought her the extendable garden, which attaches onto it. We were missing two rooms, that's, and we just couldn't get them in the UK. So I wonder if, oh, oh, this is really good. Try me. Does it do? Oh my gosh. 
So it just popped out. I don't know if it pops back in. Look. It pops out. That's so cool. That is really, really nice. I'm going to have to hide these for her. So when she comes home from school tomorrow, she can play with them. That is amazing. So this Carlita, she loves Carlita. And this is the playroom. The Carlita Perific Playroom. That is going to be great. We need two rooms to do our doll's house. That is it, honestly. That is so cool. Thank you so much. I will have to do a big tidy up before she gets up tomorrow morning. And you are such a star. Thank you so much. This is the baby box crafterific room. Oh my gosh, that is so adorable. I would love a Gabby's doll's house and I'm 43. I think they're amazing. There we go. How cool is that? That is so nice. I look, the little thing goes round and round as well. That is beautiful. So Gabby's doll's house. Does it show the there we go. You can see, see the doll's house there. It's actually um, it's going from the sofa. It's probably about so big. It's, I can't, it's too big. It's a big doll's house. It's on one, I think it's got three levels on it. They're absolutely brilliant. Well worth the money. They're incredible. That is brilliant. Thank you so much. She will love that. Thank you so, so much. Oh my gosh. So this is a, a cooling blanket. Do you know something? At the moment, the UK is going through a heat wave. It is so bloody hot. It's really, really hot. Not compared to Texas and all that kind of stuff hot, but it is hot. This is incredible. A cooling blanket. I've never seen a cooling blanket before. Thank you so much. Arc Chill is a Japanese textile research centre focused on cooling fibres. The cooling fibres we produce have been put through rigorous testing on Japan. Oh, see, it's Japanese. That's fantastic. We love anything Jap uh, Japanese, so that is amazing. I'm give, definitely going to give this a try out tomorrow. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. That is brilliant. What a cool idea. Literally a cool idea. Thank you. That is amazing. If Corey was here now, he would be absolutely over the moon with that because it's so hot. Oh, hang on. I've got some more notes here. Oh, Ostara, Corey has this on his wish list for you. Hope it helps you smile. Sending hugs from Carrie Ann. Oh, gosh. And there's a box here. Let's see what's in this one. I don't know what's this one. Oh, solar watering can with lights. Oh, my gosh. Is this something that I put on or something that Corey's put on? I'm not sure. I. I didn't put anything on his wish list, obviously, when Corey passed away. Um, and then I was asked to put a lot of stuff on for his resting place and also to do a um, a memory garden here, which is what I did. It's the only reason we've been putting things on the Amazon wish list <clears throat> is because I get a lot of messages on the inbox asking asking us to do that. So I don't know if this is something Corey requested because he loved the garden or if this is something I put on, but I do know what this is. I don't know. Is it going to come out very easily? So we have a little shepherd's crook there. Another little loop there. So, oh my gosh. Probably going to wake us all up. So, I don't know if you'll have to see what this is. So, I'm not going to untangle it all. But this is a gorgeous, I've seen this. So there's solar panels on the top, which is brilliant. And it comes with a hook, as you can see there. And, and the, the stands for it are in the box. So you screw it all together so you've got a big hook, you hang it up and then you see here there are some little lights and they're like little waterfall fairy lights and they all come down so when the watering can's hanging up it looks as though it's, it's, it's watering fairy lights out. That is absolutely stunning, it is beautiful, thank you so much. We will use this in Corey's Memorial Garden here until winter comes and then we'll pack it away and then what I'll do is I'll take this to be with Corey um, where he is laid to rest because I think that will look beautiful in the spring. But that is absolutely stunning. Thank you, love solar lights, absolutely love them. They're so magical. Thank you ever such a lot, that is gorgeous. My gosh, that is a huge big box. Look at the size of that box, it's massive. We're gonna have a lot of recycling. My husband does the recycling, so it's okay. I'm still got, right, we're gonna do the last three and then I'm gonna end this video. Okay, so like I said, I've pre-opened this one here. So this is from Denise Watson. Um, it says, do not bend. It's come um, addressed to me. Um, so I have actually opened this, but I've not taken it out. Um, so this is United States Postal Service. Um, oh, it's the PO box. So it's okay. It's got, it's got, it's got the PO box, but I haven't actually opened this. 
I'm not going to hold it up because it has got Denise's address on it and I'm not going to give that information out, obviously. I'm also going to keep this envelope as well because it's it's got details on it and things like that mean a lot to me. So this says, Dear Pixie, this picture is part of a larger care package that is being sent to you. I hope that you enjoy everything. Sincerely, Denise Watson. Now, Denise has actually become a friend of ours. She has sent Corey and, and ourselves, come on lights, come back on, she sent Corey and ourselves a lot of presents, um, a lot of messages, and we've become Facebook friends and everything else. So we do, although we don't know you in person, we know you as a friend now. So thank you so much, Denise. Oh my, this is so beautiful. Oh, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous beach scene. So anybody who knows Corey and knows myself from this channel will know that the coast the beach means so much to Corey and I. Obviously, he's a pirate, but we love the beach. And we live miles away from the beach. That is absolutely stunning. And that will be framed and that will go upon our wall in this room here, which we have now done. As, it's a sandy colour on the walls. We've done it as a beach room. This will go in the living room. Thank you so much, Denise. That's absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much. Gosh, I'm just so lucky. I get, Corey is just so loved. It, it just, honestly... Me, I hope you know, I hope you know how loved you are. And Corey would be saying thank you to you all. This is a really cool photo, by the way. We had a photo shoot done um, only a few weeks before he gained his wings. And this is one of the shoots from there. This came from Pop Studios, which he absolutely loved doing. This is brilliant. It was oh, such a good day. It was such a good day. Right, we have another one here. This has come to Corey, obviously, to our address. It could be off the wish list don't know what it is whoa no way that's amazing is this something that Corey put on I think it might be there's no message in it so we don't know who it's from but this is Chris oh no oh no no oh, there is there is a message oh from Alicia Hassinger oh Alicia we love you you know oh my gosh like we know you really well know for about now from being online speak to you quite a lot as well Pixie, Corey had this on his wish list and I was hoping maybe you could build it for him from me and put it in his studio. I know he loves Christmas and since he wished for this, I wanted him to have it. Love you all from Alicia Hassinger. Alicia, I absolutely promise you right now that I will build this. I might even make it into a TikTok. Um, anybody who, um, so the TikTok is mine and Corey's. We both feature on it, but it's, um, I think it's at Pixie Crap Goth. I think if you follow t uh, TikTok, Corey is on the TikToks of there. I'll do a TikTok of building this. So there we go, we have a frame. And I can promise you now, Alicia, I will build this. I will put it in Corey's studio and I'll put a photo of Corey into it as well. So there we go, that is absolutely gorgeous. Corey does love Christmas. The thought of Christmas without Corey has actually is just doesn't even bear thinking about but things like this are beautiful i promise you we will do that and you will see this thank you so very much that is gorgeous and we have just one more left which i'm going to pause so i can quickly zip it down with some scissors because it's still taped up and i'll be right back right okay so this one is a gift bag and it came with a note which is really really good so this says pixie this can be used in any way you want the garden, Corey's resting place, the office, etc. Enjoy this as well. Much love from Cindy Pitts. Cindy, thank you so, so, so much. Oh my gosh, does that say the same thing? It does, yeah. So again, I'll save that. I'll save both of these, actually. Oh, what is it? Oh, oh my gosh. It says fragile on it. So we got so it's for the garden oh it has got a hole in it that's nothing to do with me by the way so hopefully whatever it is is not broken it oh um scissors be careful with scissors kids i know if Corey was here he'd be saying the same thing scissors safety and all that See bits of polystyrene flying everywhere. There we go. Oh wow. 
It's like a little fairy house. Oh my gosh. It is a little fairy house. Oh, that is absolutely adorable. You see, look, it's like it's snowing because I've got all the, look, the fans on and they've got polystyrene. There we go, get some snow. Oh my gosh, that is absolutely beautiful. Oh, it's snowing. Oh, it's the snow. Oh, that is gorgeous. That is so pretty. Thank you so much. Oh, it must light up as well. I'm going to pop some badges. Look, there's a little thing on the bottom, so it must light up as well, which would be so nice. So we will actually, like I said on before, um, we're actually just now in the process of taking down the more delicate items because obviously the autumn's coming in for the UK now. Um, we are now, what are we? September, I don't know when we're calling on my phone. I think it's September the 3rd today. The 3rd or the 4th, I'm not quite sure. It's one of the one or the two, I lose track. Um, so yeah, it's um, obviously the, 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 the seasons have now turned. So we are starting to bring all the delicate things in. But on our decking, we still have lots of really beautiful things for Corey. So we'll put this on the decking. And then what I'll do is in the springtime, I'll go out and I'll pop this with Corey because he has a beautiful resting place, which is not far away from the house. So we'll put this with Corey in spring, but for now we'll keep it here. We'll bring it in for winter and then we'll put it back out for him. That is absolutely gorgeous thank you so so much for that i love it i really do love it thank you so that is the unboxing for today and i just want to say an absolutely massive massive thank you to all of you like your gifts your messages honestly it means so much it really does i can't tell you how much it warms my heart to know that corey is still thought about and he's loved so much across the world and that he will never be forgotten you know and Although it seems wrong that he's not here opening his presence himself, I would love to think that wherever he is, he can see and he is thanking you all. So on behalf of Captain Corey, who is here right now with me, there we go. So from Captain Corey and myself and the rest of my family, thank you so, so much. Please, if you like what you see and you want to see more, we're going to be taking you on lots of different adventures. Please make sure you are still subscribed. YouTube sometimes randomly kicks people off. Subscribe. Please make sure that little bell notification is ticked so you get all of the notifications when we get new videos go up. Like, comment, share, interact with the videos. That keeps the channel going, which is brilliant. I'd love to hear what your favourite thing was I opened today. And if you recognise any of the things you've sent. Again, thank you so much. So from Captain Corey and Crewmate Pixie. Thank you and we will see you again. Bye.